this is not a drill. We got it, boys. We got the new trailer. We got some new patch notes. That's right. Skulltown's coming back. World's Edge. Uh, the OG Season 3 World's Edge is coming back. I'm doing this live on Twitch. Chat. You cannot see chat, but right there. Say hi, chat. <laughs> Anyways, I hope everyone's doing great. We're gonna just jump straight into it with the trailer. We're gonna look at the patch notes. I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts. Uh, I am super tired, and I don't know where I got this energy from, so here we go. Okay, let's go into it. Get ready. This one's ours. This is the old case. This is the new World's Edge, though. Whoa! Alright, alright, alright. That's better. We got some new skins. We got nerdy... Wait, is that Crypto? Is that... It's Timmy? I swear that's Timmy. It's Timmy in Apex Legends? Confirmed? Samurai. Oh, I love that. I really like this guy. Oh, man. The scythe looks good. Why, ha why have double katanas when you have a scythe? Come on, man. It looks just like it's Timmy. Like, literally. On the dot. Oh, that's hilarious. That looks nice. I prefer it's Timmy skin, though. God damn. Oh, dude. I don't think this is arena. Some said this would be arenas, but this feels like a BR to me. Genesis. Here we go. Damn. June 29th. There's not a lot of time on that. Genesis Collection event quality of life updates. Get old school. We got the trailer. Uh, I don't know what this is. Dev stream. Just for the whole two weeks, it'll be those two original maps. No, we're not going to watch the dev stream. It's in the description if you do want to watch that. King's Canyon World's Edge Return. They're taking over the normal trios and GSQs in one hour rotation. So we'll basically get both King's Canyon and World's Edge at one hour intervals. Look at this, it's Bridges. You guys remember that only things uh, Apex Legends uh, veterans would, would remember? This is one of them, it's Bridges. This is like the, one of the first POIs you get removed. Super fun to see that again. Uh, we also get the old King's, uh, sorry, World's Edge with the old capital. It's basically, it wasn't really that much many changes on uh, World's Edge, but you have capital and you have whatever this is called. Depot? I think it was called Depot. Oh yeah, Thunderdome. Yeah. Oh man, I'm looking forward to this. We got some new awards and collection event. There's some skins if you care about that. I'm not, not really... I don't really want to spend money. So I'm not going to. Uh, we got some rewards track. I, I I felt like I didn't want to cover this, so I won't really. But I'll just show you guys. She has a trumpet now. Uh, Bangalore has a trumpet. I'm just going to show you because I know some people care about this. But I, I really... Now the heirloom looks really good. Is there like an inspect animation? Oh, here we go. Oh! Okay, that looks pretty spicy actually. That is really spicy. God damn. God damn, I love it. There are some changes. There are some like meta changes and stuff like that. So I figured like, let's bring this up. This is more important than whatever skin, whatever that. It's super fun that King's Cannon Worlds are just coming back. But are also more important changes that will change how the game plays out. So let's look at those and I'll let you know what I think. So we got Octane. Uh, launchpad cooldown was increased from 60 seconds to 90 seconds, so it's 50% longer. Uh, this is a good change because I don't think he's run away, uh, run around spamming jump pads all the time, especially with a uh, golden helmet. Uh, so this is a good change for sure. Uh, Revenant has his hitbox slimmed down by not really that much. We can definitely see the changes if you like, you know, close and open one eye. Definitely, I'll, I'll, I'll open like a finger so you can see both, but definitely a good change he had a very big hitbox it was very difficult to play revenant especially who have no movement abilities um like obviously they have to obviously they have to buff revenant if a new heirloom comes out otherwise no, they're not gonna sell any heirlooms they're smart respawn you're smart and i see what you're doing oh they also stock a climb hate significantly increased it's not literally unlimited but that boy can really climb oh no silence duration in decreased from 20 to 15 seconds duration of death protection decreased by five seconds so that's 
one good change because he was super OP in competitive because of the death totem. But the changes to the silence and the stalker climb will offset that. He will still lose, uh, I want to say he still loses some 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 strength in competitive apex but he definitely still he gains a lot in, in casual so that's fine nobody want him in competitive apex anyways lifeline was nerfed we has we have her hitbox size here her legs and waist have been thicker she's become a lot thicker now gained a few pounds that was all but i i've I, i've lamented over this very often she has a fairly big hitbox but it always feels like you keep missing her if you have a shotgun a, a master of eva or something it always feels like you're aiming straight at her but doing no damage so i'm, I'm actually welcoming this change i want to say lifeline has had a busted hitbox ever since she was released so this is really good that they finally look at that bloodhound i the alpha her scan time was decreased from four seconds to three seconds so you're not he doesn't have wall hack for as long and the Beast of the Hunt duration was also nerfed. This is also a legend that was abused a lot in competitive and ranked, so that's good. Watson cannot place one, then more than one Nessie on the map at a time with her epic emote. So this is the balance change we we'll all have been waiting for. Uh, Watson used to be able to only place one Nessie at a time, and then the other one disappeared using her emote. Now she can place more. This will definitely welcome more placing competitive apex. I'm glad Respawn are focusing on what's important. 20 Nessies can be active at once at any given map. What? <laughs> God damn. All right. Weapons balance. The P20 increased fire rate from blah, blah, blah. Increased base ammo to 14. So every every bullet increase. So every mag increased by two, except level three and uh, level four, which is by three bullets. That's actually kind of good. It fires faster, but does the same amount of damage so i don't know if it's gonna do too much but the p20 was probably the one of the or the weakest guns before so maybe this will help uh even it out a little bit we got the spitfire hip fire was increased uh the, the spread was increased they said this before i'm gonna i'm gonna not gonna take the word for it we'll see when it comes out when it rolls out on the 29th the 30 30 repeater has slightly increased projectile speed charge time has been reduced almost by half uh that's like oh i get quick maps 40 30 percent really good um, because I never really charge up with the repeater. It, it takes too much time to just stand there and stare at people as it charges up. So this is a definitely a good change. Um, I don't know what you guys, let me know in the comments if you think this is actually good enough to bring it back into the meta. I'm not sure. Same with the P20. I would love to hear what you think about that. Uh, the longbow was buffed with base damage increase from 55 to 60. Welcome change. I would say the longbow is still one of the strongest snipers. So it's a bit out of left field, but I guess people don't really run the longbow as much as respawn wants them to. Uh, arenas updates. So, <laughs> I don't play enough arenas. So I have like a super, I, like a full disclosure. I don't play arenas enough to have a super uh, up to date and god tier giga brain take on this, but I'll still give it my best because I did play it for a few hours. So, they changed the pricings where the P20 tuning the numbers to more fit the power level of these guns. Uh, to make it more viable to build them the arc store was more expensive the gold pack backpack is more expensive okay they seem to lower the ability prices except for the lifeline drone and the blood on ult those are more expensive so that's probably a good change i would assume they have a big they have a big impact on arenas add a scoreboard to the map screen that looks good i like that that this looks this looks nice that really fits in there you can report players nice from round 3 onward, you start with a shield battery in addition to two syringes and two shield cells. That's really good. 6x scope moved from base sniper weapons to level 1 upgrade. That's probably a good one because 6x really made the balancing screwed up. He's built a sniper and a. I want to say I haven't played much arenas and I want to say that the gun meta has been a big reason for this and the low IQ of some of these arena games I've been in. Uh, but I do think that with these changes to the meta, this is a step in the right direction and maybe it will be more playable, more enjoyable for someone like me. But I've, it always has bothered me with how, how like there, there's supposed to be some brain wrinklage going on when it comes to the meta, uh, when it comes to the power level and buying stuff. But it's just it's just like oh yeah, buy the L star and call it a day. So it's good that they're changing this. Maybe this will be good enough. Hey, Reptar got a shout out here. Oh god, if so, if they give Reptar a shout out about the uh, adding trees to Face Runner, then we might be looking at Tap Strafing being removed because he called it cheating. I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm putting it out there. Uh, the UI for Purple Devotion shows the attached turbocharger. Oh, this is all this arena, so I don't, so I don't care. Uh, Valkyrie updated fu fuel gauge UI to better indicate we're using fuel and when you're running low. All right, let me see. 
Okay. Rampart will have custom animations for LMG reload. Oh, that's cool. No impact in current reload times. Well, that's still that's still cool to see because it, it is a bit awkward with the fast one. Added voiceover when your ultimate is ready or not ready. When your ultimate gets to 100%, you'll be prompted to tell your team with new voice line for each legend. At any point in time, you can ping your ultimate icon in your inventory to show your teammate that percentage you're at in quick chat. Now, this is actually kind of big, because I've wanted this since the game was released. Um, it just felt so weird being able to ping everything except your ultimate. So this is a good change. Kudos respawn for that one. Uh, add a view for replicator, add a view for ping for the trident. You can now turn off every skill. So these are good changes just like for team play. This, these are good quality of life changes, so give them that. Meaning players mutas text to speech, that's good. Healing items new play the entire healing setup used by replaces that are just beginning and ending. That is so good. This is a small thing. It doesn't get enough attention, but I've had a lot like you can't tell if someone's faking out a heal. And you need the full audio cue to know if someone's healing when you're approaching. So that's a really good change. I like that. Uh bug fixes. Let's see. What else we got? I'm, I'm just gonna read the important ones where you skip over all the small changes. Gun shield will no longer take additional bleed through damage. I'm not sure if this refers to all the bleed through or just some of it. That's weird. I needed to phrase this better, but maybe they'll explain this later on. Let me know in the comments if you guys know about that. Lifeline will no longer use Raves animations while in the boxing ring. I had no idea this was a problem. Okay. Enemy care packages will now have loot if the enemy lifeline leaves the game before it lands. Damn, how did I miss that? Completed another pass to prevent Lobo from getting into unallowed areas. Octane, uh, Pathfinder can no longer swap weapons faster if the holster animation is cancelled. Feels bad, man. I don't think it did that. Uh, did a zipline pass on arena maps to prevent him from getting into unfair positions. Well, that doesn't matter for me. Uh, nothing seems important here. I, Ra Watson no longer uses Rafe's animation in the boxing ring, so I guess everyone just had this issue, or many legends did. Okay. Uh, Valkyrie, environment pass to prevent Valk from entering areas not meant to be entered. I guess it, they just spent, they put some intern on just, just making sure people can't like grapple and zipline and jump and fly into places you're not allowed to be. So I guess that's a good change. I don't know why they put it like this, but okay. Other, fix the bug where people have to play one ranked game after a season or split reset for the reset to fully take effect. Uh, another place who have not played a ranked game recently before this update will still have to play one game of rank with the RB changing before the bug is completely fixed. Oh, that's good, because that was definitely an issue. Matchmaking will be cancelled if the party leader changes the playlist to a mode that the party member is not eligible for. So this might actually fix it. <laughs> so this fixes a glitch um, that, that people use, usually cheaters use, to queue into predator lobbies as a bronze. But this also means that if you get the bug where... Because I'm sure you guys have gotten this, where you you get a bug and it says, "Oh, I'm too low level to play in rank." Like it, I am a level, I'm a level thousand something, right? And I am a diamond or predator, and I'm queuing with predators. But then the game goes, "Oh, you, you can't play." Uh, normally, what you would do to fix this is you have your leader change it to pubs, and then the dude who has the issue readies up. Then the party leader switches back to ranked and. Then you can queue. Uh, but because of this fix or fix, you no longer can do that. Hopefully, they will fix the other issue, but we'll see. We'll see. That seems to be all of it. Uh, I still think this is really exciting to see some of these changes, and I'm curious to hear what you guys in, in the comments think about this. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. Remember to smash the subscribe button if you did enjoy the video and found this, I guess, useful. You know, let's hit a lot of likes, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.